Hi everyone, welcome back. Before writing the unit test cases using JUnit framework, let us understand some of the basic concepts and terminologies related to JUnit framework. And these basic concepts and terminologies we will frequently use while writing the unit test cases. The class or system we want to test is known as system under test or a class under test. The method or function we want to test is known as method under test. The test class in JUnit is a regular class that contains one or more test methods. These test methods are annotated with add test annotation and contains the logic to test a specific piece of code. Well, test class in JUnit is nothing but a regular Java class. It contains a methods which are annotated with add test annotation. Next, a test method is a method within a test class that is annotated with add test annotation. This method contains assertions that check the expected outcomes of the code being tested. Well, a test method is essentially a unit test. Well, in order to write the unit test, we create a test method. So basically, we create a method and we annotate that method with at test annotation. And this method is called test method. Next, assertions. Well, assertions are used to check whether the code under test behaves as expected. JUnit provides several assertion methods such as assert equals, assert true, assert false, and assert throws. So apart from these assertion methods, there are a lot of you know other assertion methods as well. Next, the test runner is responsible for executing the test methods in a test class and reporting the result. In JUnit, the test runner is typically provided by ID or build tool such as Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, Marvin or Gradle. Well, test runner is responsible for executing the test methods in a test class and reporting the results. And most of the popular IDs like Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA have, you know, inbuilt test runner. And also the build tool set like Marvin or Gradle also has a test runner to you know, run the test methods. Now let us understand all these basic concepts with an example so that you can remember easily. So here we have a calculator class within that we have add method. So now we want to test this calculator class, right? That's why it is called a class under test. Next within a calculator class, we have add method. Now we want to test this add method. So it is called a method under test. Next here we have a calculator test class. It is basically called a test class. So test class is a regular Java class. It contains, you know, test methods which are annotated with add test annotation. Next, here is a test method. Test method is a method which is annotated with add test annotation. And within a test method, we write a logic to init test the method under test. And we'll also add assertions to check the expected output with the actual output. Next, assertions. Assertions are the statements that we use to check whether the expected output matches the actual output. For example, here you can see assert equals. Assert equals is the assertion that checks the expected output matches to the actual output. If expected output matches actual output, then this test will pass. Otherwise, it will fail. Next, test runner. Well, test runner is responsible to execute the test methods within a test class and report the results. And most of the popular IDs like IntelliJ IDEA, Eclipse, VS Code. So these IDs has inbuilt support for executing JUnit test cases. And this is the IntelliJ IDEA. It has a inbuilt test runner. So we can use test runner of this IntelliJ IDEA to run the test method. For example, from here, I can run this test method and you can see the result. So test runner basically responsible to execute the test methods within a test class and you know report the results like this. All right, so these are the important terms or concepts that we frequently use while writing the unit tests. All right, so class under test, method under test, test class, test method, assertions and test runner. Alright, I will see you in the next lecture.